Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. More crime for you guys. I told y'all black turtleneck is serious crime. So today we will be talking and I'm going to be sharing the screen with you guys. We're going to be talking about a crime really gruesome. This is about family. We have a brother, a younger brother, who killed his older sister because she was no longer innocent. Y'all, I'm talking about dismembered, left body parts for people to see, crazy crime scene, like I'm talking about knives everywhere, blood everywhere, and body parts. Now, when I hear this, I'm like, okay, hold on. I'm over here thinking what race they are because when he says, when he said no longer innocent, I'm like, okay, we're talking about like a Middle Eastern country because, you know, that's what they do up there. They have honor killings. They have, you know, if you're, like he said, no longer innocent, they kill people for that, which is insane that, you know, as far as humans have adapted and evolved, they still do that up there. And I think it's so insane. Because, you know, in India, they still have honor killings. Actually, it's this woman. I watched her whole story on YouTube. You know, when they talk about, like, I survived the honor killing, all that. That lady. I was crying like a baby up in that video, y'all. Like, watching that video. Because she, because she was talking about how her childhood, more like, tragic childhood. I'm sure I've been through everything. With older men are just, just, that is so dark and even now she's uh, um in america no she's in the uk and she um maybe it's still, she's still in the uk but she moved over there she's an advocate now for honor killings and they're still trying to find her her family is still trying to kill her so stuff like that so i got a feeling that's what this is like about to be like not like that gruesome well it's gruesome but don't get me wrong i'm talking about like with the family like that type of dynamic religious stuff like that but this is really dark so i'm gonna go and share the screen with you guys so man dismembered pregnant sister because she was no longer innocent and left body parts on neighbor steps so this is a picture of her by the way with her husband now i think it's interesting too that this happened because you know normally and this should not be normal okay so when i say normally i'm just saying that the, like the way it happens okay they kill people which is really crazy they kill like women up there in those countries because they're like that they just like get that they hook up with like you know it's like sleeping with random men which i do not believe they do because they know unfortunately these men are here they will kill them if they do so they always be like you be hearing them talk about like women who are no longer who um not no longer but like that but women who are who give themselves to random men who just sleep around will be stoned to death so i'm like i doubt it but i only know what religious they like what religion they are i'm just speculating that's what i'm saying y'all so let's just start reading but that is her husband beth and Israel and her husband. So, a 23-year-old man in Minnesota is accused of killing his 30-year-old sister last week and then dismembering her body, placing pieces of her remains in several different locations because her pregnancy meant she was no longer innocent. Okay, first of all, it's so weird because you're just a younger brother. It's like, this woman is married. That's her business. And I don't care what religion they are. They're, they're, I don't believe in like what they believe in and this is gonna be like a religious video I feel like because I'm y'all I'm not a religious person I am okay with what people believe in but murdering somebody because of like what they believe in I just don't believe in that <laughs> I don't believe in that I don't believe in those middle, the middle eastern countries ways but they say, they, they say they do stuff for like God and stuff but I'm like that's not true y'all are evil human beings that's what that is that's not religion what they're doing so Jack Joseph Ball of Lakeville Minnesota was taken into custody and charged with two counts of second degree intentional but not premeditated murder in the horrific slaying of Bethany Ann Israel and her unborn child according to the criminal complaint filed in Dakota County the siblings mother at about 11 p.m. on Thursday, May 23rd called 911 and told the dispatcher that she believed her daughter was dead inside of the residence in the 17,000 block of Encina Path in Farmington, Minnesota. The house is located 23 miles of, um, south of Minneapolis. So far, I'm going to do my research because I really feel like it's like I want to know their religion. Like, what is that? Because I really feel like that's a part of it. But while, while, while I'm talking about religion, y'all, this could just be a brother who was like obsessed with his sister and that she just wasn't innocent and that's weird if that's true like that like the reason i brought religion up because um that's what it's normally about and i saw the comments people was talking about like christian this isn't christianity but 
that's why I'm thinking that it's like religion, y'all, but I'm really speculating so I hear it. Upon arriving at the scene, the mother told first responders that her daughter went to her brother's home at about 6 p.m. that evening for dinner, but stopped responding to the family members' attempts to reach her. The mother went to her son's home to check on her daughter, but when she arrived, she told police that her son just threw out of the house. When she entered his home, the mother said she found a substantial amount of blood and called the police. Officers entered the residence and observed the large pool of blood on the kitchen floor under the sink and the cabinets, police wrote in the affidavit. Additionally, they observed the bloody saw, hatchet, and large bloody knives. As they continued moving through the house, they saw a knife on the living room floor near the staircase that led to the second level. In continuing their search, they located several dismembered body parts believed to be those of Israel. Whoa. Hatchets, saws, knives, oh my god, a house of horrors, literally a house of hell. What the hell was this? That's so scary to even... Uh, you know what? Thankfully, the mother did not go into that house. I'm starting to think there's no religion involved in this. I don't know. I'm just like uh, I'm just speculating on that part. So she did enter the home. It's scary and sad to see that. But thank, hopefully, she, I think she didn't go upstairs. So I'm curious why it's so like I'm I'm just so at a loss of words for this because it's the, the crime seems so gruesome. You got saws and stuff. What did he freaking do to her? Like it started downstairs and most likely went upstairs. She probably dragged herself upstairs, or it could have been upstairs and she followed like found her way downstairs and he just like cut her up and threw her everywhere yo how can people cut somebody up how can a human being cut somebody that's not easy like even think about hatchets like that's not like a freaking what's it called um like a, a slaughterhouse you just like on it's stuff in the sink like you're just chopping people up in the sink and on the counters oh my god that is so freaking horrifying to know what she went through so freaking horrifying okay and to know that your own brother did that no emotion like y'all that's crazy and did all this because she wasn't innocent no more is, is he innocent was was he a virgin we need to look that up because i'm like what Y'all, was she supposed to stay innocent her whole life? What the heck is this? And that's why I keep on saying I feel like it's some religious stuff. I need to know their beliefs because, like, those are stupid beliefs. If that's even a belief, that's stupid. That's just what it is. That's just what I believe, what I believe in. While searching for Ball, officers went to the Rosemount and Apple Valley Police Department, um, received the call from a resident who said that a male was observed on their front door ring camera placing what appeared to be a body part on the front step. Upon arriving at the second resident, police said they recovered a dismembered body part, which they believe came from Israel, the daughter. Ball was located in the backyard of a residence a few doors down from where the body part was discovered. Defendant was located near a shed in the backyard of the residence at which his car was parked. He was covered in blood on his, he had blood on his head, shirt, arms, legs, and pants. They also observed what appeared to be a self-inflicted knife wound across his throat, the affidavit states. Upon searching the area, police found several dismembered body parts as they believed to be the sister. He was transported to the hospital for treatments. Authorities investigating the crime he said they found several journals in his handwriting in which he said he was angry at his sister because she was pregnant and no longer innocent. Whoa, let's just stop and take it all in. Why the the putting body parts in bags and boxes on people's doorsteps? What is that about? To show people what, what he did? What was that? Like, that's really weird. He's writing journals about her. Y'all, I really feel like, what if he had, like, what if it's not even religion and he just had, like, an obsession with his sister? Because you know that do happen. Like, what if he just, like, wanted his sister and she was no longer innocent for him? That's disgusting to think about. But it's a possibility. Because why do he have journals about her? Why, do he, why is he writing journals about her at all? About her no longer being innocent because she's having a baby. That's so weird. The journal is really creepy, eerie. It's creepy to think that you have a younger brother who's like talking about you in his journal and he's talking about killing you because you're not innocent no more. That's just weird. Like, what? And then, not the fact that he slit his throat. Trying to, is, was he trying to off himself? What was that about? Because you didn't get, like, what? So, 
that when you put the pieces together, you have him killing her because she was no longer innocent. Her writing journal, well, him writing journals about it, about her no longer being innocent, and then him killing himself. I feel, you know what, a theory is coming to mind, y'all, that he got an obsession with his sister. That's what it is. That's what, that's what I believe. Okay, and I quote, the allegations in this case are deeply disturbing and horrific. Words cannot describe what our law enforcement partners encountered during the investigation. Dakota County Attorney Kathy Keena said in a statement, My office will work hard to ensure the victims receive justice and provide the necessary support for the victim's family. Ball appeared before the district court judge Bryce Ehrman on Tuesday from his hospital room. His bond was set at $1 million with conditions or $2 million without conditions. He is currently scheduled to appear in the court again on June 10th. Don't know why he has a bond. Seriously, this is gruesome. Nobody, y'all, well, I, I know it's the law that this is what we do, but like, seriously, we really got to get out of that mentality of like crimes like this when they're so gruesome they don't deserve. Just don't give him a bond. We know he's not getting out, but just don't give him one. This is wild, y'all. By the way, she was 18 weeks pregnant. That's so sad. So I'm so, so I'm surprised he didn't, I'm surprised he didn't get charged with first degree murder. We know it wasn't, oh, well, definitely, I don't know if it was premeditated. The journals could actually prove it was premeditated. He was talking to, if he was talking about killing her. But emphasize on S, y'all. He had journals, suh. Not one, more than one journals about her not being innocent. So, like I said, this could have been about religion, cannot be. Y'all, I keep bringing up religion. I just can't see a normal, like a person, nobody's normal who does this. But it's like, you know that they do that up there. That's why I say religion. But... If it was, the mom would have said something. So this really could have just been a dude, uh, like a younger brother, 23 grown man, obsessed with his sister. This woman was married. Like, what, what, was un what was not innocent about her? She's married. You can't stay innocent forever. That's the thing. You can't stay innocent forever. That's just what it is. We all know that. Unless, you know, they kill you before it, which is really heartbreaking. And anything just to be taken out of here when you haven't lived your life. But to say she was you killed her because she wasn't innocent, they need to look at his background. Were you innocent, dude? Like, you weirdo? I just think he was obsessed with his sister. That's my new theory. Yeah, it was just a really sick crime, y'all. Should not have happened. It's definitely more to this, and I'm really curious about what he has to say. Like, there has to be more. You can't just say, like, kill, kill somebody like that and, like, try to go away. They should release his journals. What did he say about her? He was so obsessed with his sister. He ain't telling me nothing. He wanted his sister. That's so nasty. Because why would he care that much? Unless they're religious. But the mom didn't say any of that yet. But it's only so much I got from this like thing right here. Even I tried to look at other sources, y'all. It's all the same thing. So it's only so much they know. So what do you guys think about this? Do y'all believe it was like a religious attack? Or do you believe it was just him wanting his sister? I swear it's like those two. Because what else would he kill her for? You killed your unborn niece. There's reasons. That's weird. And there are people like this after y'all. And we live among them. And they are in your family. Some not not hopefully not. But you know, this one was. So on that note, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We are really growing this channel and I'm so happy. I love talking about crime because there's so much crazy stuff going on. You have no choice. I look at the positive, okay? This stuff don't stick in my head, okay? So don't think I'm like going crazy over this though I'm not. I talk about crime but I have to like look at the news I need to know what's going on in here y'all it's just what it is there's so much going on in 2024 you have to you have to look at the news you need to look at crimes that's going on around you because you wouldn't know if you're not there's so much you can't stay in that perfect bubble when where nothing happens you have to go outside and look around because on the news on the internet don't go looking for bodies but like you have to because it's like, it's too much stuff going on right now to ignore it. That's why I talk about it. And that's why I research it. That's why I look it up all day. Because there's so much going on. And I need to stay aware. Because there's all type of crimes happening, y'all. People are going crazy right now. And nobody knows why. I feel like somebody released something in the, in the air or something. Because it's too much crime. And it, 2024 just started. So, yeah. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Welcome to my new subscribers. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.